so a lot of the songs from this point forward did not exist last cruise around, which is very exciting. Thank you, Because I've heard lots of people that tend to leave the cruise super energized to make stuff, and I am no exception. Um, so these next two songs are about video games. Do we know video games? Do we? <laughs> Take the temperature of the crowd here, but I think we know what video games are. Um, and this uh, first one is about Animal Crossing New Leaf. <laughs> Does anybody play? It's I've been street passing like crazy with somebody, and I assume that they're sea monkeys. But my model home has shown up in a couple towns. Um, so if you get a street pass from Molly from Compton, that's me. Um, and for those of you who have not played Animal Crossing. What it is, is you are a little human in a town of animals. And you show up and they go, you must be the mayor, welcome. And you go, no. And they go, yes. <laughs> and then you immediately take out a loan and buy a house against your wishes. You don't really have a say in the process. You are the only person that patronizes the local economy. You're the only person who picks weeds. You're the only person who donates to the museum. Um, and, and all your neighbors are super needy, like just emotionally needy. Um, and so it's this game of awkward social and civic responsibility. As if I don't have enough of that in my actual life, but I am addicted to it. Um, and so I wrote this song uh, about it because I realized if you spend a lot of time doing or learning about something as a songwriter, um, you can write that time off as research in your taxes if you write a song about it. <laughs> So this song is called New Leaf. And it's not going to make sense if you haven't played the game, I'm sorry. <laughs> there is a place I like to go when all the world has brought me down. It's a village by the train tracks, a sleepy little town where there's no crime and there's no drama and no one's ever died. Where I own a little house that looks much bigger once inside. For some reason I'm the mayor. I didn't really have a choice No one uses real words But everybody has a voice There's a river that goes nowhere There's a tree they made me plant It's a giant stupid time suck And I want to quit but can't If you want to own a home Tom Nook will help you With a loan I'm not quite sure what lesson this game teaches I just got a thousand dollars for some peaches <laughs> It's not the game I wanted, but it is the game I need Sometimes it's nice to have a place to go where I know I'll succeed There's still awkward acquaintances whose feelings can get hurt But it's repaired with just a letter and a regifted ugly shirt There are no trolls, there are no jerks, just happy homes and public works My friends could not get better if I'd picked them but if they cross me, swear to God, I will evict them. <laughs> what happens is you can teach your little animal people, they'll go, Yo, Molly, I think I need a new catchphrase. And so you teach them dirty words or ASCII dicks or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then if, like, Angela visited my town, then potentially one of my people could move into her town and decide that they like her better, and I wouldn't blame them. <laughs> but if I've taught that person to say, Ask your penis, how's it going, Angela? <laughs> then she, as the mayor, can say, this person's being a problem, and it wipes their personality clean, like back to the defaults, which is even more terrifying. <laughs> it's like the most step forwardian thing I've ever heard. Um, so I might have to work that into the song in the future.